Hey guys, Brad Dan here. I'm going to show you how to uh, use Cheat Engine on Spore. I noticed that there's not many mods work anymore, and if anyone wants to know how to change values of the Staff of Life, so it's pretty much a minute. I have mine at 500, you know, all this different stuff. Then, uh, yeah, this is also a tutorial for um, Cheat Engine. I will show you how I changed all of these values. So I guess the first things first, you need Cheat Engine. So I'll put a uh, download link in the description for you guys. Um, one thing you guys are gonna need to know is that your goal is to get this these addresses. These are very unique and they're pretty easy to get. The first thing you do is that you click this and it should be in your applications. Of course, launch Spore. Make sure you know you can launch it and uh, try not to crash it. <laughs> um, and then you just click Spore and you click Open. I'm not gonna click Open for mine because it's gonna crash. But you know. All right. So this might seem a little overwhelming at first, but it really isn't. It's pretty simple. It's been a while since I've used it, and I probably yeah I just know how to use it by heart now. Okay, so I already changed these values, so we're going to change a brand new value of the game. The first one we're probably going to do is, let's do, I uh, can't really do these, can I? Hmm. Let's buy something. Oh, all right, we'll, uh, we'll do the AOE repairs. So, AOE repairs are pretty useful. <laughs> so, having a lot of them won't be such a bad thing. I'm going to turn this off because it's annoying. Um, so, here's how you do it, right? You open up Cheat Engine. You uh, do that, and then you go down to the value. You see the value of... AOE repair, so there's 16. So you type 16 in the value bar, you click first scan, and it scans for everything. So obviously there's no way of knowing how many of these codes, you know, you can't go through each and every one, it'd take you like a year. So here's how you do it. I just used one, so now I'm at 15. I go back up. And then I type 15 in here. Do not press new scan. Instead, you're going to want to press next scan. It's going to narrow down all of these searches here. It's going to narrow them down by a lot. Watch. Boom. Sometimes it'll take two um, value changes. Sometimes it'll take six value changes. Um, this does not work for cash. In this game, it does not work for sport bucks because there's so many values. I don't. Uh, there's like 16 of the same number down here, so I don't want to change that. You guys can try if you guys want to, but I don't want to break anything. And um, we actually know which one's the right one without even needing to click next scan. I'm gonna do it anyways just to show you. But if it if if for some reason this number changes and this number stays the same, then um, if this is red at all, it's probably going to be this one. So remember, that's 206. So we're going to do this again. Now we're at 14. Go back to Cheat Engine. Put 14 in there, and then we click Next Scan. 206? Yep, I was right. And now you double-click this. And it saves the information for you so you don't have to do all this over again. You go to the bottom, then you double click, yeah, double click the value. And then all you have to do is change it to whatever you want. I'm gonna push my luck. I'm gonna go to 999. I'm not sure if there's a max. Um, there is a pretty good chance that your computer will crash if you go over a certain number, but it's pretty high. I mean, I've. I've done a little bit of a push. I thought 99 was the max, but it isn't. 
that max might be 1,000, it might be 10,000, I, I don't know. But don't, like, type, don't put in a million, because then the game will get confused and it will probably crash on you every time you launch it. And if it doesn't, sh if, if it doesn't change automatically, it probably, the number is probably bugged. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but there's little tiny dots there. So it, you know, appears that it's, it's not changed. The number hasn't changed, but it just cannot display 998 right now. And you know it's working because you can see the number change. All of the numbers here change. Corresponding to Cheat Engine. This is a pretty easy um, tool to use in these types of games, these outdated games. There are a couple mods that you can download that make the game look a bit better. And I have a couple that um, you could easily look up. Uh, let's see. On this page right here. This is an old website. Uh, this one doesn't work. Uh, the rest, I don't know. You're going to have to use judgment. Forgotten Explorer is a pretty good one. It changes your uh, your HUD. Makes it better. Better Explorer is a pretty is a pretty good mod. It adds lava to some um, planets. I've never seen that before, so I'm assuming that's the mod. And these, I'm not sure if these work. But if they do, then good for you. <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, a little bit more about Cheat Engine. You guys can click off the video if you know about che Cheat Engine. Um, Cheat Engine is a tool of which can change properties in certain programs. So like, this would also work in Dark Souls. Just so you know, this works in Dark Souls. I'm not saying to cheat in Dark Souls, if you do that, you're kind of an ass, but if you do, you know how now. Um, what else can you do this in? I think you can do this in other old games like The Sims. You can, like the early Sims, you can use this. Like Sims 3, you can change your uh, properties of everything. You can change, you know, how big people are, I think, because they have aspect ratios. I'm pretty sure they have some kind of ratio of how big they are. You can change that with this value. It'd be kind of hard to find it, but basically, if you can change the value in the game, cheat engine, or you can, you know, you can deduct. You can deduct and find certain values in the game, and it's pretty goddamn useful. I tried finding a mod that makes it more complicated, like, there's infinite amounts of uh, staff of lives, but you have to pay for them. I tried, but there's just nothing out right now that has that kind of um, capability. Uh, be careful of which mods you download. I think this goes without saying, but some of these mods are outdated and they will crash your game. I had to deal with a full reinstall on my game, and yes, the servers are up. Um, spore, so congratulations. Uh, that is it for the video. I just noticed, you know, I wanted to make this video, wanted to help you guys out, and um, stay tuned. Peace.